Hi, this is Girija again. We are about halfway through the Refigure undergraduate course. So I thought I would recap what we had learned in the earlier weeks about reading papers, particularly as we are going into more about sharing what we are learning uh, through reading the papers. So just a very brief recap, we learned how to read papers by following the abstract, the introduction, the discussion and results and possibly methods in that order in week two. And we learned to start with a broad review on the topic to gradually narrow down on specific topics of interest and try a few different topics and search terms to uh, find what you're looking for. Uh, we also learned about new tools, how to find open access papers at various, on various platforms, including uh, Open Knowledge Maps, PubMed Central, Unpaywall, and we also learned about Refigure. And Alina is going to tell you how, uh, how to be effective uh, uh, with capturing your reading. As an undergraduate student, I use Refigure to compile the information from various scientific articles on the particular topic of interest. I really like notes section of Refigure because I can add more details there. I can add more information about the particular figure from the article. I can emphasize some of the aspects of the figure or summarize it. It's also important to explain the relevance of each particular figure to the topic of her figure and how the figures are related to each other. After I'm done finding figures for the figure, I usually write description where I summarize what the figure is about and which aspects of the topics are covered there. I also scroll through figures and add the keywords. Tagging your figure makes it easier to find for individuals who may be looking into similar topic. This week's topic is sharing your science, the science that you're reading to build a science identity and network. You might say that you're too inexperienced, but that is not true. Uh, you can start communicating science right away. This is good for you and for society, and I will give you some examples. The way to share science that we are discussing here is social media. And some of the ideas that we have listed in the lesson plan are to share a paper that you've read, share a refigure or open knowledge map that you have created, share a popular science article that you've read, and importantly, follow scientists, peers, and organizations of interest to learn to network and see job openings in real time. An example that I'm showing here is an undergraduate who shared a paper they had read on LinkedIn. And as you can see, some people have liked it. Importantly, future employers and recruiters can see that this student is working to understand this specific topic. In the lesson plan posted on Refigure blog as usual, you will also find interesting articles from the Chronicle of Higher Education, Princeton, and Science Magazine, which discuss the do's and don'ts of sharing science on social media, as well as the 50 uh, most interesting Twitter accounts to follow. I have also list, compiled a list of science tweets from undergrads so that you can see what kind of uh, information your peers are sharing. I hope you enjoyed this week's lesson.